Hello and welcome back to Iron Holifer. Today I'll make a little how to catch a queen video because I, f I felt like doing it. So it's coming a bit late out this year, but the good thing is that you can re-watch it next year. So let's jump into the video. So the first step to finding a queen is to just simply to take a walk in your local area. Every time you see something ant related, go down, take a look, discover what ants they are. If it's just Lacius Niger, well then you know there's Lacius Niger. If it's something you don't know, then you have to start kind of discovering what ants it is. The important thing is that this is in your local area, and I would really recommend that you take uh, the same walk every day if you have a lot of special species. Just by taking this walk, I found out I have Formica fusca in my local area, I have Formica sanguini in my local area, I have Lacius niger, Lacius flavus, Lacius ambicus, and Mimica ruba. The next thing is to kind of record your ants to see what they are. This is uh, Lacius ambicus, still don't know how to pronounce that. And it can, sometimes it can be quite hard to kind of record them, especially if you don't have a macro lens because they're so fast. So what I would recommend is that you take some sugar or some honey, or in my case I took a little drop of some ice cream and just put them on the ground. After 30 minutes all these Lacious Niger ants was just swarming this little drop of sugar. And now it's really easy to identify what ants you are having. So when you have identified what ants you are looking for, it's then time to find out when the queens fly. So for this I have used the same guy over and over and over again. It's a video from Nordic Ants and it's just so simple and so perfect. He explains when different species flies and I would just really recommend that you watch this video to kind of see when your local queens fly. The queens they fly after a big rainstorm. So if you have a big rainstorm that's a good sign at least if it's hot the next day. I had many days where it rained in Denmark and I decided to take a few queen walks. I didn't see anything, but then the perfect day hit with the perfect weather and then I just went on to my normal queen walk. I of course had some test tubes with me, these are just empty test tubes and now it's just time to look for ants. So I discovered that this Lacius niger colony seemed very ready to fly and there was a queen up looking a little bit. but. Don't take them as a fool, because if they have wings and they're still around the nest, they haven't flown yet. As you can see, this queen has also decided to go down and then they didn't fly this day either way. So a few days later, I also saw another queen walk around. And the important thing is that if you haven't seen the flights in the air and she's walking around all alone, there's a good chance she just is impatient and just decided to fly without being fertile, that's also why she probably have her wings. When the queen starts to fly you will see a lot of queens trying to fly and a lot of princes also around nest entrance. You see this is the biggest day in Denmark's nuptial flight this summer where there were just so many queens up at this one nest and it's just simply because the weather just weren't good to fly before this one day. and then it all just started. So what's important here is that the queens are about a centimeter. Of course this depends on what kind of colony it is. If it's larger of course the queens are larger and if smaller of course they are smaller. But the important thing is that there's a large flying ant and there's a small flying ant. The large flying ant is the queen and the little ant is the prince. So the prince and the queen they come up in the air and then fertilize each other and then the queen will land and drop her wing and the prince will land and simply die. So don't catch any princes because they're just gonna die. So after you have seen all of these nuptial flights go on, just take your normal queen and walk again. Just go slowly and look left to right on the road and then maybe you'll see a queen. So now it's just to get her into the empty test tube. This can be quite hard but just be patient, she will walk in there eventually. And when you're home with the queen, double identify her to see if this is the queen you were searching for and then just put her into a normal test tube setup, which I've made a video in a few weeks ago. And yeah, now you have catch the queen. Congratulations. So congratulations on your new queen. I hope you have identified her correctly. 
though it doesn't really matter that much as long as you have her in a little test tube setup for the first period of time. I will uh, be making a what to do next video soon, so you don't kill your queen. That's been it for this video, hope you like this little tutorial, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.